G'day mates, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video is actually one of the biggest ones I've done in such a long time. We have so much to cover. We have Dubs for the first time looking like he's splitting up with Mega officially to find a new team. We have Tfue looking like he's gonna come back to competitive Fortnite to play with potentially Cloaksy and Scoped. We have our first tournament announced of the new season and it looks like it is a Winter Royale, so I'll cover all the details on that as well. Also, we just got the final confirmation that I've been waiting for for a while that looks like Kanata is permanently banned on Twitch. Kanata will never be unbanned and never able to stream. So I'll cover all that as well. So there's a lot to go through. Let's just jump into it. All right, before we get into the first official tournament of the new season, which looks like Winter Royale, let's talk about a tournament we did have today. We had the Chipotle Cup Finals, and this is where a lot of stuff has come out of. It was a great performance all round. It was very, very solid. We saw Centered, Edgy, and Commandment have an insanely dominant performance, taking out first place, $30,000 to split, and a year free Chipotle for each of them. So they're very, very happy with that. I mean, no surprise, Centered, Edgy, and Commandment came second place in FNCS. Their drop spot is still in the game at Misty Meadows. It has an NPC or a quest giver for Storm Surge which right now is the recipe for success and man, honestly, by the looks of the tweets of the teammates, it came off the back of Center's insane performance. There's two games he got over eight eliminations by himself in trios but it wasn't all good performances today. We actually had Dubs, Mega and Riversan lose to Mongrel, Bucky and Creo. They're not an official team. It was just a Chipotle Cup. Don't freak out. But Dubs, Mega and Riversan lost to Mongrel, Bucky and Creo five times. They didn't eliminate a single one of them in five games. They ended up on zero points. Less than Juju, which if you guys don't know, is an NFL player who was invited to play. Not even a Fortnite pro. I mean, he's pretty cracked on the sticks, but either way. So after this, I didn't think we we're going to see anything crazy, but Dubs actually tweeted out that he was looking for a trio. And if it was any other day, you'd think it's an impression farm, right? Oh, he's baiting. It's Dubs and Mega. They are like the duo. It's like Saf and Zay. You can't split them up. But but it looks like they might be. And after today's performance, and I mean, they didn't do the best in FNCS either. I really wouldn't be surprised. I don't know whether it's legit. I don't know whether it'll last. Maybe he was just emotional because they didn't just have a bad take today. It's some of the worst Fortnite I've ever seen Dubs and Mega play. I don't know what happened today to them. While I'm on the topic of just iconic duos, I have to talk about how it looks like Tfue maybe is making a return back into competitive Fortnite. It is only a tweet. We haven't seen Tfue get on or scrim or anything, but Tfue tweeted out that it looks like he might potentially be running it back in competitive with Scoped and Cloaksy. I don't know whether this is something we can go off too much. It is just a tweet, but at the same time, Tfue hasn't made a lot of tweets like this in the past. He did get on for the season launch. He got on for the Galactus event. He also played a little bit before he played in the Twitch Rivals. He said he was enjoying Arena a lot more than the Twitch Rivals tournament itself. So it looks like Tifu might be enjoying the game. Cloaksy is already back. He's been playing with Tim the Tatman, Nick Merckx, and he's been kind of fragging out. Cloaksy's actually better than what I expected him to be after such a long break. We know Scoped is still around. We know Scoped loves playing with Tifu, So I wouldn't be insanely surprised to see it happen, especially because Clo uh, Scoped hasn't really found a lot of success in competitive since Tifu left. He didn't do very well last trio's FNCS. He's got a better team this time around, I believe, than what he had last FNCS, if it stands. But I'm still not sure whether he would play with them, but I would love to see this happen. We're seeing all the big content creators come back. Imagine seeing some of the big competitive veterans coming back in. Nick Merck's already said that he's going to be competing. He's been playing scrims, arena, and just practicing like crazy with Colazzo. So it's not out of the realms of possibility. We could see Nick Merck's and Tfue playing in an FNCS or a Fortnite tournament. Before I get into talking about what tournament Tifu is coming back for, because it looks like a trio's win for Royale, I need to talk about how Kanata played in the Chipotle Cup Finals, and same as always, the teammates he played with that streamed on Twitch had to have his audio muted because he's still banned on Twitch. Now, if you've seen Kanata on Twitter, he's been reaching out to Twitch support, trying to get unbanned. He made a tweet saying that he'll do anything to get unbanned. He doesn't want to be toxic anymore. He's learned his lesson and then tried to get his followers to spam at Twitch support. I don't think this is a good idea already 
Kennedy, but at the same time, it clearly didn't work because Kanata tweeted out again today that it looks like he's never going to be unbanned and he wasn't just banned once permanently. It looks like he was banned for multiple violations of terms of service. A lot of people keep asking me whenever we watch Kanata on my stream, why is he banned on Twitch? What happened? I still don't 100% know. There's no clips. There's no VODs, but I've heard from a lot of reliable sources and a lot of people. It looks like it was due to making um in real life threats. So he was threatening someone in a wager on stream, like I'm going to come to your house or something like that, which I'm guessing he didn't mean seriously, but that is very much against Twitch terms of service. And you can see why you can see why they wouldn't want people making uh, threats like that and why they'd want to like punish them for it. I don't know whether this would have been a permanent ban, but it looks like it's because Kanata has been banned multiple times for multiple different offenses. So that was just the final straw. And it looks like we have our confirmation that Kanata will never be unbanned on Twitch, which I've talked about in the past, has a lot of relevancy to Fortnite because who's he going to play with? It means he can't really play with someone who streams because if you're streaming on Twitch and you're streaming with someone banned, you're not allowed to interact with them or communicate with them or have their voice be heard on stream. That's why when Ronaldo was playing with him today, he had to have him muted. It's just, it's an absolute nightmare whenever anyone plays with him and it's going to affect the teammates that he can play with in the future. All right, last but not least, let's talk about what looks like Winter Royale 2020. Now, unfortunately, I don't have an insane amount of information. That's going to come out tomorrow. By the time this video is out, there should be information coming out a few hours afterwards. I'm going to record a video on that as well once we have what the rules are, what the format is. But I wanted to talk about it a little bit because it's looking pretty exciting. If you don't know what I'm talking about, if somehow you missed it, Fortnite Competitive tweeted out, get your trio ready, more information coming tomorrow. And then it was just a poster that said, Fortnite Frosty Frenzy December 12th and 13th and now that's why I'm trying to get this video out I'm sorry I don't have all the information yet but I wanted to give you as much of a heads up as possible that this tournament's coming and it looks like it's going to be our version of the Winter Royale this has got people super excited is it going to be a ginormous prize pool like last time we've had a few leakers come out who are you know have shared prize pools in the past that were almost correct about FNCS saying it's going to be a massive prize pool I don't really know how they get their hands on that information I'm not getting my hopes too high that we're going to get a $50 million tournament or $15 million like we did the last Winter Royale. The FNCS prize pools recently have gone down quite considerably. Same as Cash Cups. So I wouldn't, I'd be very surprised to see a massive prize pool. But either way, it's our first tournament season five, which is very, very exciting. We're going to have to see it's trios, not duos. So this might not be Winter Royale. I mean, the picture they've used is they've got a Fortnite skin and they've got the Santa outfit going. So maybe, I think it's pretty safe safe to say it's Winter Royale themed. Who knows? This could be punching into a Winter Royale map. We could have our Winter Christmas themed map in conjunction with this tournament that's coming out in a few days. I don't know. Either way, all we know it's a two-day event and it's trio. So it makes me think it's going to be a two-day qualifier. One day to qualify, one day finals. I'm guessing. Either way, I'm super excited. We have a tournament in Season 5. We don't have to wait until February, which is when FNCS comes out. We've already got a tournament underway. One thing I will warn you, depending on how round two goes, be prepared for a little bit of lag. In the Chipotle Cup Finals today, in the first three games or so when they were really stacked before the end game started closing out, it was incredibly laggy. I, I talked about it a few days ago. There were scrims going on in NA East and there was a bit of lag. Today was even worse. There was people falling off builds that weren't there. I saw a clip where Mongrel got sniped well and truly behind a wall. I'm talking like he walked behind the wall for a good whole second and then got sniped. So just be prepared for that. But in my video I'm making tomorrow, I'll make sure to cover all the rules, the format. I'll give you some advice based on the scoring format. Should you play aggressively? Maybe some drop spots that are looking pretty good because we haven't seen too much of that in trios. So if you want that information, make sure you subscribe to the channel because that will be coming out. And that does it for today's video, guys. If you liked it, please chuck a like on it. Let me know in the comment section down below. Do you think it's going to be a massive prize pool? Try not to get your hopes up too high. Just look forward to a good tournament. Don't think we're going to get tens of millions of dollars because you'll be disappointed if we don't. Either way, I'm super excited. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I'll see you in the next one.